Well, there's the famous dinner bell. Welcome back again. I try to have that dinner bell go off when I'm going to talk about food. Anyhow, in today's episode, I'm going to talk about intermittent fasting on how I kind of fell into it and how I got started with it and why I keep on doing it. So, <clears throat> let's get into it. Anyhow, <clears throat> um, a while back, we'd lost power and we had no, no electricity. So, um, you know, we I hooked up a generator and we had a, the well was going and and whatnot and the TV and the refrigerator. Well, we were without power for about three days or so. And the next day we got a really bad, uh, windstorm and it knocked down some some trees a bunch of trees in the back and it got on our fence and we have dogs and the fence is important to get the fence back up because we don't want our dogs to get out <clears throat> and uh <clears throat> so i got out there and uh was with the chainsaw cutting down all these trees off the fence and it was a huge mess and uh i'm getting all sweaty and sawdust and the the, the works and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to take a shower. Well, we didn't have any hot water because we were without power for about two days. So it was just cold water. So I'm like, oh, good night, man. I have I don't have a choice. So I took a, a cold shower because my kids had run all, all the hot water that was already left. They ran it all out. Anyhow, I took a cold shower. And man, did that wake me up. It was like, wow, it was a wake-up call. You know, it was an adrenaline rush the whole nine yards. And I felt really good. So I, you know, Googled um, benefits to cold showers. And a bunch of stuff came up. And and then uh, drinking olive oil came up too. And I kind of looked at that and I thought, wow, that's kind of neat. But also what came up too was fasting. And I thought, wow, maybe I, maybe I should try that. <clears throat> you know, I should try fasting. There's all these benefits and blah, blah, blah. And I also tried the olive oil too. So, um, and I still do olive oil too. I'll get more into that in a, in a second. Anyhow, from taking a cold shower, uh, I started doing the fasting and drinking olive oil. And, and I, the first day I tried fasting, um, I don't ease into anything. I go full, full, full balls to the wall. I think my first day I, I did like, uh, I don't know, 22 hours or some crap. And uh, I don't do that now every day. Um, I do uh, 18 or 17 hours a day now regularly. <clears throat> but anyhow, the first day was like 22 hours. And that's like, wow, that, that wasn't too bad. Um, you know, and I'm like, well, let me try another day. And I think I went like 20 and then another day and I, did like I was in the 20s when I first started I was in the 20s and I'm on the first week the first week I definitely was starving the entire time but after that first week it went away the starving went away but I do a, a, I do it a little bit differently than most people and a lot of people be like well you're not fasting what I do when I get up in the morning <clears throat> I drink uh, about three or four tablespoons of olive oil so I guess that's calories right there but because there's a bunch of benefits from olive oil too. Supposedly, you won't have a stroke and it prevents this and that, cardiovascular, blah, blah, blah. But anyhow, I drink three or four tablespoons of olive oil every morning. And then, you know, I, I fast the entire day. And uh, um, anyhow, the benefits I got from it, the like the, within three months, within three months, I lost... Uh, um, like 35 pounds right off the bat within three months 35 pounds gone and supposedly that's a lot of weight to lose by fasting but since i lost 35 pounds i haven't lost one more pound at all and i've been doing fasting for a while but i don't really want to lose any more weight i'm kind of happy where i'm at um so maybe if i ate a little healthier i'd start losing weight but but by fasting i don't gain any weight either because like before I fasted, like when a holiday would come around, like clockwork, when a holiday would come around, um, 
I'd always gain five to eight pounds, or like Thanksgiving, five to eight pounds, Christmas, five to eight pounds, you know, a celebration, five to eight pounds. But now with fasting, you know, I eat the same, but I, I do fast every day. And uh, <clears throat> I, I don't, I don't gain any weight. I just stay the same. I stay right the same. Um, and uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, now, here's why I stay with fasting. Because I feel better overall. I feel better overall. And then the biggest reason I fast is because I don't have to worry about food at all. At all. Zero. I don't have to pack a lunch. I don't have to make sure there's snacks in the car. Uh, it's so easy. I get up. I get up. I take drink three four tablespoons of olive oil i get a black coffee and i'm done that's it i don't have to worry about anything else i don't have to worry about anything else until i get home and i go over all the time like i'm like i, I fast 17 to 18 hours a day and i go over all the time i don't make it back in time or something i get caught up in something and i'll go like 20 21 hours and then I, what i'll do is i'll just cut my eating window a little short and my eating window is from my eating window is it's it it starts at five o'clock and it ends at midnight so if it uh you know if i go to seven o'clock i'll just maybe end it at 12 30 but it starts at five I, I my window's from five to 12 is when i eat um and it's usually like a seven hour eating window and i'm i usually fast for about 17 hours 18 hours but the biggest the biggest reason I fast is I don't have to worry about, like I said, packing lunches and all that. And uh, I don't gain any weight. I truly don't gain any weight. And really, uh, but I also, also I, I have to tell you one thing that I forgot to tell you. I do do the can-do diet still. Um, I do eat, like when I break my fast at 5 o'clock, I'll eat a can of vegetables, uh, like green beans, or, or uh, mixed vegetables every time because I think the vegetables like helps my stomach transition with food because it hasn't had food in a while so I'll eat those vegetables at five and then I won't eat my like my regular meal until like seven so but I do start eating at five but it happens to be vegetables and I do that every day religiously eat vegetables that I'll eat the vegetables and I, check out my video on the can-do diet it's a two-part series and it kind of explains the can-do diet. Be eating cans of vegetables. It does work, and it helps you maintain uh, your weight. But yeah, and it and it's good with digestive too. It's been working for me. Check out that video too. Um, yeah, that's basically how I got started. I kind of just fell into it by looking up uh, cold showers and whatnot. And there's supposedly a slew of benefits. Supposedly, you know, we'll see. Like. It keeps you young and blah blah blah. Uh, my benefits: I don't gain any weight, and I and I don't have to worry about food. And also, what I also realized too by fasting is food isn't what it seems to be. Like, how do I explain it? Like, like there's more to life than eating. There really is. We like we we have food around everything, like celebrations and and gatherings and all that. And it's like, no man. It's not about food. It really, like when you when you start fasting, you realize that you really don't need the food. It's not the food doesn't make you happy. Uh, if anything, it's it's a distraction to to solving your real problems. Um, and I and I never say never. I never say never because you never know what's going to happen. But I don't see myself ever stop fasting. I, I'll fast <clears throat> until I'm 127. <clears throat> if I make it to 127, but. I'll never stop. It, it it was real easy for me after about a week. Uh, the hunger goes away, and and really, after you do it so long, it doesn't even. I don't even feel like I fast anymore. Really, I go 17, 18, 19, 20 or so hours a day every single day, and I don't miss a day. I don't miss one day. I don't I don't stop fasting on vacation. I don't stop fasting on holidays. Period. I don't I don't stop fasting at all I, and, I, and since I've tried it I haven't skipped one day and I know I've watched other videos and they say oh you should skip a day here and there 
Well, I haven't. I have not skipped a day. And maybe I should. Maybe it's not good to fast every day, but I just haven't stopped fasting. But I, it's too, it's too easy, and I do feel I, it's easy, and I feel good. Um, kind, of, kind of rambling uh, with this video. I should have wrote down some more notes, but I'm, but I'm just like talking, you know, just trying to talk and um, tell you how it went for me. But hey, if you haven't tried it, give it a try definitely give it a try and break the fast break the fast with vegetables or something because it, it's really easy on your stomach like if you break the fast with like if i break the fast with pizza or fast food or something like that my stomach cramps up and i'm in pain every time every single time i cannot i've got to eat vegetables which to me vegetables is really light on my stomach if i break it with anything else i'm definitely paying for it with cramps and stomach ache but when i break it with vegetables there's no pain at all no pain whatsoever so anyhow leave the comments below uh the good ones the bad ones um if you have any questions and i see them i'll try to answer them uh, maybe i'll do more more videos on fasting if uh if i get at least a uh, 100 views on this i'll do another video on fasting but some of my videos do okay, but some are like, good grief, man. Um, <laughs> they got like one, one, one and none views. <laughs> and the one, the one view, I, I watched it on my phone. I'm like my only fan. So until next time, uh, have a good one.